Why do the acromantulists fear the basilisk? My name is Vegard, however, some of you might know me from my previous name, Wise Hufflepuff. Today I'm going to be taking over for Harry Potter folklore, so yeah, please enjoy. Happiness can be found, even in the darkest of times, when only it remembers to turn on the light. The acromantula is quite a frightening creature. It instills fear into the majority of those who encounters it, and its main instinct is simply to feed and colonize. However, the giant spiders fear a creature themselves, the basilisk, as Aragog almost timidly mentions. What is it about the serpent that causes such a pain for the acromantulus? Acromantulus have flourished in the dark forest specifically. They have little to worry about, but Aragog knew about the existence of the basilisk even though they had been deemed illegal to breed due to their uncontrollable nature. In simpler terms, he'd never seen one but he was taught to fear the creature. Acromantulus were socially capable of passing knowledge too, so it's no surprise that they have their own beliefs. However, it really is an interesting story as to why they indeed fear the basilisk. It comes down to the spider's vulnerability. The basilisk kills all those who meet its stare, that is its most powerful weapon. Whereas acromantulus have 8 eyes, eyes that are placed in a sequence around different places on their heads, making them extremely vulnerable to attack. In addition to that, they don't blink, and cannot be closed all at one time either, which in actual fact gives them no defense whatsoever. It's also highly unlikely that there has ever been a case of an acromantula defeating or killing a basilisk, with both creatures being of ancient origins and extremely unlikely to encounter each other in modern times, especially with the basilisk's existence being an illegality, it does leave the question of whether there was some sort of long history between both species. As I said, Argo was just over 55 years old when he died. Basilisks were long gone by that time, or if they did exist, it certainly wasn't made public. So with this fear, I believe came a violent past between both species, with dozens if not hundreds of acromantulas being wiped out by no more than just a single basilisk in my opinion. With them being utterly defenseless, it's no surprise that they grew to fear most among all others, to the point they would not speak its name nor of its existence. Thank you so much to Harry Potter Folklore for having me. If you guys haven't already, please check out my channel. It will be linked in the description. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please thumbs up. And uh, I don't know what more to say. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If I have earned your subscription, then please make sure to click that subscribe button as it is very important in helping my channel grow. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up as it's also important in helping the video grow. Thank you very much again for watching and I hope you all have a great day.